Hey everyone, my name is Jessica with Artbeats.com and today I want to show you the things that I have been making with the Helos clasps. So when I found out that we were going to carry the Helos clasps, I was really really excited because the fun things that you can do with these is that you can use them to mix and match different bracelets. So you can see that like there are different sized tubes that you can fit beads in and then you can pair them together in these clasps because they have these little holes where the tube slides right in so in this one it's a medium size and you can do it just the one like that or you could do these smaller ones so here I've got tubes that are small and it fits two of them in like that so you can make multi-layered necklace or not necklaces bracelets um, and you can do a lot of different combinations with them and what I liked about these is that you can also use a lot of different materials so if you've seen the other videos that my mom has done she is clearly more experienced with doing peyote stitches and that is not something that i really know how to do yet so instead i was doing a lot of things with thread so here it's thread that's like tied around this link and all you have to do is tie a knot to put it in so it's really easy it's really fast to do um, and I used things like friendship bla bracelets and I weaved in some beads just to make it stand out a bit more. Um, in this one here, again, thread, leather cord. Uh, this one's again, a friendship bracelet with beads. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do even if you don't know the more complex things like peyote stitching. Um, you can even use simple things just like a threaded bead strand. Um, and in this video, I'm not gonna show you how to finish all of these. They're, our tutorials on how to finish them on other videos in our channels as well as on our website there are tutorials where you can see how to finish these different kinds of materials but this is more about inspiration and some of the mistakes that I learned on the way for instance um, this one I made the chain a bit too long you can see that everything is not the same length uh, so there is a learning curve to this just trying to figure out how to you have to be aware of how you're going to finish each one because for instance for this one for the thread you tie a knot so it shortens your length but for the chain you add a jump ring so then it becomes even longer so you have to be careful of how you're finishing them so when you put them all together <laughs> they might not be the same length um, but then this one i was finally able to do it it's mostly the same length so again just be aware of that and then another thing i learned was these are pretty sensitive. They're not super sensitive, just don't be aggressive, I guess. Um, for this one, you can see that I was pretty sloppy. I squeezed the tube a bit too hard, so it's kind of dented. Um, and it was a learning process to figure out how to finish each kind. For instance, for the friendship bracelet, on one side I tried doing a large crimp tube, the other side I tried just gluing, and Eventually, we were able to figure out the better process of closing these. And again, please look at the other videos because we give some really good tips on how to finish them in a more clean way. Um, so yeah, when you close them, you have to be gentle because you do squeeze them like from the sides with your tools. But if you squeeze it too hard, it'll be dented and it might not slide into the Helos clasp as easily. So with these kinds of clasps, um, there are three different sizes. There's this big one, the little one, and the medium size one. Um, for instance, if you use this big one, you can use a medium size one and two little ones like this. And then you make this big cluster of beads. This, I didn't really make these to have the right color combinations. I'll probably be going back and making more to have one full color scheme. But it's just showing that just how many different combinations you can make with these. Um, let me see, a better combination might be a medium-sized one, and we can use, let me think, one of these, because it's more earthy tones, and maybe this one. And then when you put them together like that, here's the other side, there it is. And go like that, and that, and then, oops. It's one big bracelet. So again, these colors might not be perfect, um, but I just really love how many different combinations you can do, how many materials you can incorporate into one bracelet. And I just think they're really fun to kind of mix and match around, do a different bracelet for each day and see what you can do. So you can also, let me show you the last one. This is what I was talking about that my mom had done with peyote stitching. And this is a very big one when you move these. 
So in this one, she has four different smaller ones. And so this is just one example of how you can incorporate these all together and have a more concise uh, color scheme. Just get that back. So again, there are so many different combinations you can do with these. In this one that my mom did, she did a couple of different beaded strands, a couple of different kinds of chains, peyote stitches, and this braided leather. So please look on our website, look at the other videos on our channel if you want to learn how to finish these kinds of bracelets and make your own kind of mix and match designs.